Hello. Phone connected. Mesh intercom on. Open mesh. Channel 1. All right, in amateur radio, uh, if you want to call somebody over the air, you use their call sign followed by your own call sign. But what if you just want to talk to anybody? Well, instead of calling a call sign, you say CQ. CQ, CQ. So I'm going to have a little fun, and uh, as I get close to uh, the cruise man's location, I'm going to call him by <laughs> CQ. See if he catches on to that. Hello, CQ Cruise Man. I'm a little early. He may not even be here yet. CQ, CQ, CQ. And um, I, I don't think he's here. Hello, Cruise Man. CQ, CQ, CQ. Hello, Cruise Man. Hello, CQ Cruise Man. CQ, CQ, CQ Cruise Man. Hello, Cruise Man. CQ, hello, CQ. Mesh, Don, are you there? Hey, uh, Cruise Man, how are you? I see you. I just now pulling in the parking lot. Okay. I had to stop and get gas. All right, just take the lead. I'll follow in behind you. Okay. Great morning for a ride, don't you think? Well, it's perfect. It's just perfect. So, update me on your new recording setup. Okay. I understand you're now able to uh, record a two-way combination through the GoPro uh, without an external recorder. That is true, Cruise Man. Uh, I have uh, devised a way to rig uh, getting all audio recorded onto the GoPro along with its video. Wow. So no more bulky... Uh, recorder in your pocket with all the wires and cables. <laughs> no! Would you like for me to explain how I did it? Absolutely. Well, it starts out with the helmet speakers. Uh, you have to use either a third-party set of helmet speakers that has a 3.5-millimeter uh, uh, plug or, as some guys do, use uh, wired earphones or wired earbuds. Okay. And, and that's, that's the beginning. So I uh, have third-party uh, high-quality uh, headphones in my helmet ending in a 3.5 millimeter plug. From the uh, base of the Cena 50S, 20S, the 30K, possibly others, is a headphone jack. And anything you hear in the speakers comes out of that headphone jack, except your own voice. Oh, okay. So you plug in a uh, TRS 3.5 millimeter splitter into that headphone jack and into its two female ends in one of the ends goes your uh, headphone jack. In the other end of the side of the splitter, in the other side of the splitter, 
goes, uh, you want to route to the GoPro. But the hang up there is that the uh, audio out of the splitter is at line level. Okay. So, so from that uh, second uh, female end of the splitter going into the headphone jack, uh, you want to put in a uh, 3.5 millimeter male to male attenuator that brings the line level down to mic level. Okay. Then, and this is really the secret sauce, you get a stereo breakout splitter. That's a uh, TRS on uh, the male end and the two female ends. One goes to the tip and the other goes to the ring. So, um, okay, I found this on the web for ATRs, <laughs> and then the two female ends, one goes to the tip. I don't know if that's you or me that someone yeah. found on the web. Anyway, you get the attenu you put the attenuator in line with the headphone jack, uh, and uh, the other side of the stereo breakout cable goes to a microphone that I have clipped inside my helmet. Oh, that, okay. That stereo breakout goes into the GoPro. From one of its female ends comes the, the helmet audio with an attenuator in line to bring it down to mic level. And the other side of that stereo breakout cable goes to a microphone. Okay. Then I leave it to you to dress up into your helmet as, as you wish and mount the uh, GoPro. Now, one of the things that uh, was mystifying at first is that I got what I thought was a stereo breakout uh, splitter because on one female end it would, it would have a microphone symbol and on the other side it would have a headphone symbol. Oh, okay. Perfect, you would think, but no, it is not a stereo breakout cable. You have to get a stereo breakout cable specifically so that you can send in the mic audio on one side of the stereo recording inside the uh, GoPro. And did you know that the GoPro records a stereo track? I was, uh, I was aware of that. Well, this stereo breakout will route your headphone uh, audio, the helmet speaker audio, to, um, I don't even know where we are now, I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> Got lost. <laughs> so the uh, stereo breakout cable will deliver the uh, helmet audio, the Gina audio, to one side of the stereo track and your microphone audio to the other side of the stereo track. Ah, perfect. So you can adjust them separately in post. Exactly. You can adjust it separately in post. Now, you and I are Final Cut users, but this applies to most any nonlinear system. In, uh, in the nonlinear, you can change the uh, stereo recording track from the uh, GoPro video to dual mono and uh, that way you get one audio track, one mono audio track for your helmet audio and one mono track for your microphone audio and that way you can adjust balances and sweeten the audio as you wish. And where can you get all these parts and pieces? Where did you find all this? various places but I'll uh, I'll post a link below on the uh, known sources uh, some of the parts are just common parts you can find in many places the uh, the harder to find parts are the uh, attenuator cable two males at 3.5 millimeter and the stereo breakout cable one uh, TRS male at one end and two female uh, splits 
off of the uh, the mail in and uh, also a uh, to uh, not to accidentally think you're getting a stereo breakout cable uh, by those that uh, advertised a split between headphones and audio. Those are not stereo breakout cables. And uh, they instead will record both tracks to one side of the stereo track on the GoPro. Drive you crazy. Alright, I'm ready for that breakfast. I am too. Let me turn around up here and we'll... Boy, I like those sequential turn signals uh, on the top of your trunk. They're nice, aren't they? They are nice. So I uh, continue to be impressed with the clarity of the Cena 50S. The, uh, the audio clarity is beautiful. Uh, as you uh, are aware, because you're listening to it now, if you're watching this on the video I'll produce from this ride. Nice and clear, you know, because you balance the line level audio from the uh, Xena to the mic level audio from your microphone mounted in your helmet. Right. Now I use a one piece helmet and that makes uh, installation uh, easier in my opinion because the chin uh, part does not move. This is not a modulator. Uh, this is not a modular, <laughs> I was trying to say. A modular helmet. This is not a modular helmet. I'm going to take a few pieces apart and, and pack it up. So give me a minute. Are we still too early? Maybe a few minutes, but they'll open up pretty quick. Yeah. Let me get a little video real quick of your setup here. I'll give it to you to put in your... Okay. A little B-roll video here. Okay. All righty.